Virgo, what up? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, North Node, First House, Twelfth House placements, or wherever else Virgo resonates in your natal chart. Um, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed and um, to only take what resonates and leave the rest. If it does resonate, um, show some love and hit that thumbs up. Or just show some love and hit that thumbs up. And feel free to subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for tuning in. What do you have for my Virgo spirit? Wow, that's a lot. So, my Virgo, I'm going to say this is you, um, represented right here by this moon child. So, a lot of you that are tuning in are probably really intuitive. Uh, star seeds, old souls, crystal children, indigo, indigo children, flower children. Um, it looks like you were feeling stuck or bound by your thoughts, confusion um, on some sort of choice uh, for either an offer or an opportunity for some sort of new beginning, new relationship, new job, new something here. And it looks like you had multiple choices and you were really um, sort of confused over it or really frustrated or like I said, maybe just feeling stuck in that energy, which brings us to our current energy. Huh, huh, huh. It's, <laughs> it looks like maybe, it's looking like maybe some of my Virgos have a lot of choices to make right now. This could be a choice of offering your own love or your own uh, self uh, because there is a lot of people here. There's one, two, three, four, possibly five people here. And then with the Seven of Cups, that could be seven different decisions here. Um, and the Three of Cups and the Knight of Cups on the bottom. So I feel like there's a lot of like love uh, options around celebration, getting together with friends with this Three of Cups, this Knight of Cups. Um, I feel like you... What is going on here <laughs> with my Virgos? Wow, Virgos are in love. My Virgos are in love here. So I'm going to take this Queen of Wands, Nine of Wands as my Virgos, this High Priestess, okay, guiding, uh, letting your intuition guide you um, is going to be what you're going to want to do moving forward, really listening to your inner guidance, okay, because I'm going to pull some cards on these. This King of Pentacles here. Justice card, the King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, um, Knight of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Strength on the bottom. What about the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Wands? What is the advice here? Yeah, I feel like Virgo, whatever Virgo is watching this, um, somebody is trying to make a decision here and your advice <laughs> is the sun card the moon card the page of wands and the devil and the temperance which is crazy because the sun and the moon are in the temperance card being balanced so I feel like the advice here, Virgos, you got a decision to make, some sort of decision to make. Move forward with what makes you happy, what makes you feel balanced. This King of Pentacles here could be an earth sign, 
uh, with the Justice card. That's a lot of balance and harmony. Then we've got this King of Wands. Could be a fire sign, an older fire sign with the King of Wands here, um, the Five of Pentacles. So this is really about feeling left out in the cold, um, really, or being sick, or really going through it somehow. Um, so maybe that resonates with this King of Wands is somebody you know is sick or uh, just really alone or going through it right now. And then this Knight of Wands, this could be a younger fire sign. And we had the Ace of Wands here. So somebody that uh, is very attractive, very passionate. Um, somebody who probably got that good, good with that Ace of Wands there. Um, so yeah, I really don't feel like there's much else to say here, Virgo. This is like a really quick reading. I might do another reading that isn't a love reading for Virgos because this is wild unless all of you Virgos right now are out there just getting it. <laughs> Let's see. Retreat. New love. Attraction. What else do we have? Children. Your love life is being affected by children. All right. Retreat. It is time to disconnect from the world. And that's really what I see with this nine of wands. Okay. So my advice to you would be to really go within right now really weigh out these decisions really <clears throat> think about what makes your soul happy really think about what makes you feel balanced um and with this sun and this moon yeah i'm just getting like everything like so one of these people feels like you're everything Keep in mind that the universe does see everything, every thought, every action. And keep in mind also that every single action has an equal and opposite reaction. Okay, I don't know who that was for. Um, but I do feel like this whole situation here is actually some sort of awakening it's some sort of divine wisdom that you are gaining maybe about yourself, maybe about what you'll accept in love, or maybe about even what you want in love or where you're going moving forward in love or who you will feel comfortable offering your cup of love to. My Virgo, um, with the lovers, the Ten of Cups, I feel like the world is yours. I really do feel like you can have major, major happiness here. Um, and with this seven of cups, this is saying like some decisions are not good decisions. So I feel like some of these options are not good options. This five of pentacles, it could be somebody who is going to have you feeling really lonely at the end of the day. This ace of wands is somebody who could just want you for sex um, or somebody that you just want for sex. Um, you know, the justice could be could in a negative way be somebody who's really imbalanced. Okay. Okay. Um, but ultimately justice is balance and harmony and it is a major arcana coming out along with these two that came out with minor arcanas. So I do feel like you are kind of being tested by the universe right now as into what decision you're going to make moving forward. Um, are you going to listen to your passion or are you going to listen to your inner divine guidance? Um, because some of these options could literally be the devil <laughs> um i'm gonna grab you guys one of these yogic path cards <clears throat> so yeah really about and then with this moon child card that came out at first too this is really really about connecting to your intuition connecting to your higher self connecting to your soul uh the holy spirit your christ or krishna consciousness um, or your guardian demons, whatever you uh, prefer to call your higher facilities of being. What do we have for my Virgo's spirit? Sorry, I got a little off, a little sidetracked there for a minute. Parvati. Parvati. I'm going to read this card to you. Um... But this is amazing energy, my Virgo. This is really actually a deeper lesson that it might seem like is also what I'm hearing. Whatever you're going through, the lesson there is a lot deeper than you may realize right now. These options, each one represents a path. 
a life karmic um, path, a decision. Each one of these people reflects a, a part of yourself is what I'm hearing and what I'm getting, all right? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. <clears throat> keep that in mind, yeah. And I'm getting, again, you know, really going within, really protecting your energy, really setting health, healthy boundaries. Um, and I did just drop a video on spiritual protection, a really quick and easy way to do that. If you guys are interested, check it out. I'll link it um, after this when this video ends parvati why am i getting lost like this where are we at 95 <clears throat> <coughs> excuse me y'all throat chakra you pull upon parvati when you've taken immense action towards becoming your higher self in hindu mythology parvati was in love with the unattainable shiva who was deep in the mountains practicing yoga and detached from the material world she knew he needed the feminine to bring him down to earth, but he was totally inaccessible. Instead of begging and pleading, Parvati decided to become her highest self and seek enlightenment through yoga. Her family objected, saying women cannot become yogis, but she heeded to the mountains any she headed to the mountains anyways, where she stood in a frigid stream balancing on one leg for unaccountable months or years. Eventually, Shiva felt her immense energy and fell in love with her because of her strength and determination. Parvati represents commitment to practice, unbreakable willpower, and the power of self-transformation. Continue your journey toward enlightenment. <clears throat> and the other message for this card says... Like a body with no spinal cord, you may have lost your grounding and become loose, floating in every direction. What it what is it are you committed to that you're committed to? Committed to. A person with no commitments is like a wave with no direction. It's crucial to always have direction in life, and that direction should always be pointing inward. Spiritual development is a journey that unfolds only when you begin to walk the path. Recommit yourself to your daily asana and meditation practice for 30 days and watch your life slowly rebuild its spinal cord. Amazing, amazing energy, Virgo. Uh, like I said earlier, make sure to show some love and hit that thumbs up. I'm going to grab you guys one more card before we cut out. What do we have for my Virgo's last card, the chariot. Yep, moving forward in victory, the high priestess being... Uh, coming out again. So this is really following your inner guidance, becoming your higher self, doing that yoga, tapping into your soul, tearing down anything that wasn't built on a solid foundation, any habits, anything like that holding you back, tearing it down so you can move forward into victory, following your highest self and your divine guidance. My beautiful Virgo, um, I will catch you beautiful souls on the next one. If you haven't subscribed already, do that.